I think that's, that's my cue, isn't it? Oh, hello, hello, hello. 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 How are we doing? You all right? Everybody doing okay?
Hope you've all had a lovely day's work. I've been a, I've been a busy boy. I've uh, just been a, moving a few things around in a friend's garden. To be fair, he's um, he's selling the place, so he's uh, he just needed me to do a little bit of a, a little bit of the old garden work. As I seem to spend more t more time than I should in the garden these days. Um, not that it's a bad thing, of course, but but yeah, um, we're back in and we're playing some games now. And um, we were going to take a visit over to the hospital, um, but uh, the cars. I was going to say the car's not doing very well, as in to say the car's poorly, which I suppose is true. Um, so uh, we're giving it a miss for tonight. It's, it does, it's literally it's not that bad, um, but it's it's just it's not starting properly, and our dad wants to have a look at it tomorrow morning. Uh, being Saturday and all that, it's a good time to have a look at it. So that's all right. Oh, we've got a few familiar faces down in the chat there. I'm unwell, Lady Pez. What are you ill with? Have you caught woman flu? It's not quite as bad as man flu, but it's getting there. Oh, we've also got a few, uh, few other familiar faces. We've got, we've got Jane, one of the new guys. Um, a few other people down there as well. Monkey work? Yes, all familiar. Foo-foo, cuddly poops. Yep. There we go. Lovely. And Rosie, excellent. Right, so, um, yes, for anybody wondering, we're playing uh, City Skylines 1689 AD, which is obviously banished. Um, the the top, top in the market for a... Uh, for uh, medieval village building simulators, uh, as it goes, or maybe not top in the market, maybe it's been, su su you know, superseded by something. But uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Truthfully, I, I haven't a clue. Um, so we're going to play a little bit of Banished, nonetheless. Um, I've been playing it with a Colonial Charter mod, or I have played it with a Colonial Charter mod. And do you, you know how it is with these things? You get a massive sort of overhaul mod, you know, something that massively rework and adds a vast amount of content, and you just kind of chip at it every now and again. You know, like you just load up the game and you chip off a little bit more on your to-do list so I, I've this has probably been my third village uh, and I say my third village as if I've completed the other villages no this is the third time I've started a save that has uh, the colonial charter mod on so I'm pretty good at starting up but once we get sort of later down into the real sort of specialist tech lines of the game and uh, I say tech lines in the loosest term. Um, it's gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go my ass from my elbow. Basically, I have no idea. Um, I know that um, sand and clay is like massive because at some point you will need bricks. You will need red bricks to build things, and uh, it's it's one of those ones. It just it's a bit of a faff. Uh, and I always play it on the hard difficulties because because why not? Eh? You, you like the challenge. You like a bit of that old survival stuff, and I think uh, banished is another way to do it. So that's it. Anno 1404, I've never heard of it. <laughs> no, I have heard of it, I've just never played it. I've never seen it, actually, I don't know. It was, it was a really cool game, it looks like a really shit game to anyone else, but it absolutely tickles my funny bone. Um, I can't even remember what it was called, um, but it was basically you play, uh, think sort of English redcoats, you know, the old muskets and rifles, that kind of day, you know, King George, Napoleon Bonaparte kind of, you know, Britain, British army kind of thing. Um, you get to play as like individual soldiers in like a line infantry regiment. It's like multiplayer, and you have like proper like musket battles and things like that. That if anybody remembers Imperial Glory when we played that, like the really old like two thousand and six Atari strategy game. Um, it's yeah, literally fucking. It's it's that, uh, but, but way better. You actually get to, I get to play a soldier. I get to fire an individual musket in a line of. 60 line infantry so that that's tickled my footy bone i'm keeping an eye on it i'm not going out on a whim and buying it just yet um partly because obviously i don't know whether or not the devs are going to stick with it how long it's going to take them to do so i'm erring on the side of maybe they won't finish it in time um so yeah that's it uh, we dropped a few frames when we started um i think my sort of internet was getting up to speed it was kind of dropping uh, at the minute we're pulling about three and a half thousand three point six currently averaging a uh, thousand uh, kilobytes a second, which is about the average for 1080p play. And, uh, well, it's not burning down yet. Like I said, it was a bit of a ropey, ropey start to it. And we were dropping a few. We've dropped 3%. We've dropped 677 frames, which, if you count 30 frames in a second, that's, uh, that's really nothing at all. And that number's only going to get smaller as we carry on, so that's fine. Um, I'm literally just doing a couple of things before we start. 146, 146 people already. Where did you come from? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I guess it's because Womble's not streaming, isn't it? I've got to, someone's got to entertain your evening. I guess that's me. Right, I think we're about ready to start. I've got a fleece on because it's fucking freezing. I don't know whether anyone else has, you know, opened the window. Um, but it, it's it's cold. It's really cold tonight. 
more cold than usual. We've had quite a mild year this year, I think. We haven't had any snow of any sort. Um, not even at the start of this year. Uh, obviously not in July. Oh, um, yeah. Sphinx. Phoenix. 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 <laughs> Phoenix. Thank you. We're, we're sitting here listening to you be a spaz. That's, uh, that's something I sell at. Uh, it's actually something I've got written in my CV. It's a professional spaz. Spaz on the internet. From the interwerbs. Exactly. Womble is being a, a, a pen is. Pen is. Sweet. Hello, Greed. We just get rain. Lots of rain. Exactly. Cool. Well, I've kept you in sort of the eerie silence in the background of my room for long enough. Oh, there we go. Squeaky chair. Let's sit up straight. Good posture and all of that. That's something I'm really looking forward to. I, I go through chairs like I go through suites, um, but this chair, well, it's not a very good chair. Um, it was, I didn't pay that much for it, but it's, it's a crap chair. Um, I need something that, basically, um, if I'm to sit upright, I'm sitting about here. There is a full 60 centimeters between the, the mon like not the monitor, the microphone on my face. It's about literally, I would say, I would say just over three quarters of a, uh, three quarters of a meter between me and the monitor. It's a distant speck on the far side of the room. Let me put my glasses on. It's uh, literally, it's miles away. Um, so when I get, a, um, when I obviously redo my room in the sort of the, the first half of next year, uh, I'm gonna have a much nicer chair that sits upright and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fantastic. So got that to look forward to. And, until then I've got to break my spine. So. If, if anybody wonders that why I'm like constantly moving around my microphone like that, um, that's literally it. It's because the, the the back support on this chair isn't. Ex it's like sitting on a, it's like sitting on a stool in a science lab. It's just there's nothing there. It's like falling over backwards every time you try to lounge in the. chair. It's horrible. It's terrible. What an awful chair. I could literally just buy a new one, but, but what? Blah, you know, blah, that's that was what a smart man would do. I never claimed to be that. You know, you know, I'm not smart. You've been here. You know who I am. I pretend to be. I smound. I sat. Smound. I smound like a man, much smarter than Smyam. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play Banished. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, sorry, getting back to it. Live stream. You know, <laughs> playing playing actual fucking game instead of me just rambling. Uh, Joe's ramble hour. Let's have a ramble hour. No. Um, there's a few. Oh. Oh. Is this is this new? Hello. Uh, Colonial Charter. Uh, sorry. <laughs> It might appear that the Colonial Charter mod has had an update. Um, welcome to the world of the Colonial Charter. A complete gameplay expansions. Um, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Distall, install. Okay, that's all right. Is this brand new? Is it released on the eighteenth of October? So it's two days old. We'll have a bit of that. We're gonna have a bit of that. So um, let me just install that. I've got a load banished, and then uh, uninstall the old one. So this is gonna take a. A hop, skip, and a jump, because to get rid of it, you've got to load banished, uninstall it, close it, install the new one, open it again. Sounds to me like a chair fund starting up. Fucking chair I, I had a chair fund really badly, like eight, eight, nine months ago, and that is this chair, and it's horrible. It's such a bad chair. Um, I, I, I don't want to say that I'm buying one of PewDiePie's chairs, but PewDiePie released a brand of chair through a company, and I'm thinking of getting a chair through that company, just not the PewDiePie one. Um, the, the old PD Poo. Um, because it's a really nice chair, as it happens. Um, and that's, I think, it's going to have the back support that you need to you know, sit up straight. I don't do that very often. 182 people, what is going on? Are you going to hear the background music from Banish? Just ignore it. We've got to change the mod over. Mods, Colonial Charter, Disable. We're going to keep the debug menu on there, just in case. There we go. So I've got to reload it, then close it. That's it. What's Q installing? I'm installing uh, the Colonial Charter mod. Um, I need to uninstall the old one, reinstall the new one. Can I do this without being a spaz? That's the question. Uh, unsubscribe. Okay. It's all right. All is well. Uh, unsubscribe from that one and resubscribe to Black Liquid. Colonial Charter 1.75. New games only. Colonial Charter Journey does require a new game. Does require a new game, folks. So we can't use the old village. Not that the old village was any good. I seem to remember it being a fucking disaster. Um, but hey, what can you do?
Here we go, are we back? We might be back. Um, I've just had to limit the download on this thing, um, just so it's, you know, it doesn't absolutely fuck my internet over. While we're streaming, there we go. Hmm. What does Colonial Charter do? Um, what doesn't it do? It's a, um, expansion uh, of the base game. So, um, Banished gives you the... I like to think of Banished almost a bit like armor, in almost exactly not... Uh, <laughs> It's in fact that's a terrible analogy, but stick with me. Um, basically, how it works is that uh, Banished provides like the core elements of the game. If there is a game to play, if you want to just pick Banished up and not mod it, there is a game there. You can play it in the same way there is with Armor, but mods make the experience. If you know what I mean, in the same Skyrim as well. And that's a kind of game. It's a game very much that has its longevity and its uh, enjoyment factor. Very much refreshed by um, modded content. Um, this could take a little while. I'm going to incrementally increase the download speed. I do have a download cap on it. Let's 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 be dubious. Let's up it a little bit more. We're basically just going to keep incrementally increasing the download speed until I get to a point where um, it's downloading at a reasonable speed, which it kind of is now. That shouldn't be too bad. I love all my streams. Thank you, Sniper Fail. I, I like them too. I'd like to think that I do anyway. Um, I as a oh, this is terrible. I've got, <laughs> I've got a bottle of I've got two bottles of lens solution. No, three. Um, but no lens cloth. I, I've got like a great big th dirty thumbprint on my glasses lens, and I can't clean it. Where is a lens cloth? Do I have one? Sorry, up in the shelf. Hello, anyone? No. How many bottles of lens fluid? I've got like three, three on the go. Is that one? Yes, that'll do. <sighs> right. There we go. I've just, uh, <laughs> there was a problem with stock the other day. I've got it all in here. That's why. There we go. Uh, how do I not have three million lens cloths? I make a point of throwing them away because I always have three million lens cloths. Like, I li I'll come back from work and I'll have about... 500,000 lens cloths in my pocket and um, I, I just end up with just, I have lens cloths on the shelf, on the, the cupboard everywhere, um, so I, I made a point of not bringing them and uh, and now I have none, <laughs> so I'm going to have to start bringing them back again, or make a point of getting, to, look at that, quality there, there's three years of technique there it's a mastered art, it's going to be lost when there's robots clean, when the robots take over and a robot's cleaning your glasses, it's me, I'm, it's going to be an underground art, I'm going to be you know, in a, in a cave somewhere out in the, the Yorkshire Moors, and you're going to bring your glasses in when the robot overlords don't let you. I could write a book, honestly. <laughs> God, 208 people. What are you doing? Where, where are you all coming from? Let's try and increase the download speed just a little bit. I know, I know you. this is what you're here for, though. You're here for the, 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 the witty, the, what I would call witty banter. Um, it's, it's not, but it's okay. We can pretend it is. We can pretend jokes are being told by a much funnier man. We're waiting for you to start the fucking trick. Like I said, it, we're, we're literally, we're just waiting for this Colonial Charter mod to download. That's, that's all we're waiting for. Um, and you're going to have to endure me until it downloads, I think. Can I? Oh, we're going we're gonna to really push the boat out. We're not dropping frames. So let's, let's be crazy. Let's, let's go to... Oh, here we go. Getting ready. Watching the little green cube on OBS. Does it, will it catch fire? That's what I want to know. It's caught fire. Oh, yeah. Pee test, you see? You see? This is, the, this is what we're after. This is what everybody wanted. This is pee test's content right here. He was like, you know what, Joe? It's not the best. But that's why we're here. If we wanted the best, we would go and watch some professional streamer. We don't want some professional streamer. You want mediocre content served at, you know... At, at, at a sort of a middling temperature. That's, that's how we do it. Is there any fun to work in a glasses shop? I'm considering working in a glass shop. I'm not talking about a glass shop. I'm, I'm talking about glasses and opticians. <laughs> a glass, no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not making a vase at the moment. I'm cleaning my glasses. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. A cold water stream while we wait. Yeah, we could do it. Literally, it's not going to be that long, um, but you are going to have to endure me for the next 10 minutes or so. Um, I think we are, I've found the absolute limit of what we can download at, so... Talking about yourselves. It's, it's literally only going to be five minutes at this speed, so... Mediocre, half-baked, 
half-assed, mediocre live streaming. I mean, I could have sorted this out before, but frankly, ooh, I didn't check, did I? But that's what you like, isn't it? A little, it's not... I mean, I, I've been a bit lax recently. We don't do much live troubleshooting anymore, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd make up for it by making you wait for an extra however long <laughs> while we wait for this mod to download. But you love it, really. That's it. It's pronounced vase, not vase. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. What's that? <laughs> there, that's it. Good evening. Uh, didn't you work at Specsavers or something like that? I've heard that from one ball. Yep, I work in an optician's. Uh, I've actually got half a day tomorrow, so fuck yeah. Um, basically, um, Thursday, I don't know whether you've had those days. Or I've, for, for the people amongst us that are old enough to work, um, I imagine there are a few people that, that are working or have, or have not worked. Um, but uh, you've probably had the experience at school in that case. Um, Thursday was perhaps the slowest day of my life. Like, literally, you know, it's one of those, I got into work at 10, because that's when I started. Uh, like, I do 10 till like half six, seven. Um, and it was literally, like, do you know when you just like, you think, oh, Jesus, it's been about three hours, and you look over at the clock, and it's like 11, and you're like, oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> literally, it's been like an hour, and you just you just want it all to end. It was a really quiet day, nothing happened, it was the slow, it, like, entire galaxies were, like, breaking apart and reforming in the space of the three hours that it took the day to actually start speeding up. Also, if it sounds like... Um, what is automatic gunfire outside? It is not the mid it's not the West Midlands, not tonight anyway. It's that's Diwali salivation, salivation, salivate, Diwali, Diwali salivation outside. It's everywhere. There's gob all over the road. Um, we're nearly done as well. You don't have to enjoy me for much longer. Um, it's getting there. The blue bar is is well well on its way to the other end. You need to tell Iron he needs to get me barbecue sauce. That's what Jane says. Jane, Iron. Oh, and Jane needs Bob, the old BBQ. Mostly have that on Wednesdays, exactly. Yeah, some days just the uh, the just you're watching the clock and every, there's a there's a bated breath. There's a <gasps> when the when the minute hand finally moves and then it's like <sighs> you know like just tick tock over and over again. It's just let it end. It's usually not too bad. Usually. Uh, in my line of work, there's a lot going on because it's people's eyes and they're fucking fiddly as as hell. And uh, usually something's wrong. Yeah, usually all the time. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Oh, you know. Uh, do, oh God. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm getting like work PTSD. Like Jesus. So um, yeah. Uh, there's usually a lot to be doing. There's always some arsehole that wants to complain about something. He's not happy. Um. So yeah. Uh, we. You, you may be. Pleased or disheartened to know that there's only a hundred seconds to go, according to this download. It's only a hundred seconds. Only, only little over a minute and a half of me sitting here biding time while we wait for this fucking progress bar. It's honestly, it's getting on there. Uh, will you put your vods on a YouTube channel? Twitch on phone is shite. Hmm. Mm. And again, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Is there some kind of Twitch integration for that? I could do. Um. But then why? Because then the whole VOD is available on Twitch? I don't know. Is there, is there a market for that? Is that, is that, is that something people want? I, I wouldn't have thought so. I would have come straight to Twitch for the VOD. I know that whole accessibility thing, but it would literally just be VOD copies. Do you know what I mean? I tried editing them down once, and it literally, like... I, props to Womble. Because like, Womble has a notepad. Uh, again, a little bit behind the scenes. When Womble's recording for a bullshitter or something, it'll, it'll, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Uh, but you'll have literally a like a I, when I say notepad, I don't mean dot txt. I mean a note. I mean a flip notepad, like a, a one that you use a pen for. If you can consider him being that, I mean he is thirty. He's pretty old, so he, he writes things down, and um, yeah, he basically writes down the times of which funny stuff happens. He looks over at OBS, so it's you know minutes, whatever, and then and then he'll write something down. Um, I didn't. I don't do that. <laughs> or maybe I should. Um, and the result of it is that um, I, I never know where the funny stuff is. And it literally takes me about six six hours to edit a two and a half hour piece of stuff it, into just highlights, not even edit it. Just just find the funnies and cut it down and then render it, which is just bananas. So I, I, I tried that once and it was like, no. It literally it takes all of your free time. 
Like, I mean, if fucking Womble does it for a job, I don't do it for a job. It would literally be doing a job and then coming back and then doing more work. It's just... It's backwards. Um, but hey, what can you do? Is it buffering a little bit? That's fine. Any second now, we're going to come back to our senses. 30 isn't old. We done? There we go. It's kind of thinking about it. Let's give it a sec here. Right. Let's load up Banished. There we go. It should be back. We should have the little green square. No. Nope. 